a pair of AL clubs. We'll see the Chicago White Sox as they play against the Minnesota Twins. And it's game time on 2K Sports. All about the American League, and the Twins are part of that, playing here at home. Kevin Slowey, he'll be on display pitching in our ballgame. With Crook and Phillips, I'm Gary Thorne. Hi, everybody. 2K Sports Major League Baseball. And uh, as he looks at this White Sox lineup, what are they going to see from him today? Well, one of the things you'll notice about Kevin Slowey is he throws a lot of strikes. He's not afraid of contact, and that's a great trait for a pitcher. Now, he doesn't have anything overpowering, but he trusts. Presented by Pepsi, we'll show you the lineup Ozzie Guillen's got going. And so Johnny Damon leads it off. The White Sox won last night. Boy, it really helps their season record. They strung together eight in a row in the win column. Well, Gary, this is some great summer baseball for these guys. Way out in front and looking very strong. And they're building toward a terrific season. Lined up the middle. And he's on. That's a nice way to jumpstart your offense. We'll take a moment here to show you how the Twins will stack up on defense. I like Steve for these fielders. Well, Denard Spann has great athleticism in the outfield, and he really shows that he can run down balls in the gap. He has great range out there, and the ability to get the ball back in quickly, he's some kind of defender. Slowy with the pitch. Swing sits this one pretty well, deep right center. Off the wall, right center. The throw, and Damon comes in. Now batting for the well, he found White a pitch Sox. to his liking, first and just like that, it's 1 0 here in the Ball first inning, in thanks to that big RBI double. And Paul Canerco to bat. This offense is taking some pressure off the pitching at this point, Steve. Well, that's a good piece of hitting right there to take an early lead in this game. Oh! That's it, foul by Canerco. It's very early, so it may not stand up, but uh, far better to be playing with the edge. Well, that's right, Gary. I mean, they're going to try to use that edge to add some padding to this lead. And through it goes. The hit streak is on. Now Time batting. to take a look at the on-base percentage leaders brought to you by Thank State you. Farm. These guys really understand the nature of the game. They understand that they cannot help the pitcher retire them. They force the pitcher to throw it over the plate. They can put it in play and get a base hit, or they'll take a walk. Slider swung on and missed. 0 oh and 1. Now his two RBIs helped contribute to the offense in last night's ballgame. Kevin Slowey, strike two. See if he goes right at it. Someone explained to me how you swing late on a changer. Unbelievable. Got him there. That was a nice strikeout. Well, he made that one look easy, huh? I mean, look at three pitches and a strikeout. And Beckham's in the box. Swings at that fastball and misses. 0 and 1. Strike two. Gordon Beckham now will have to keep an eye out on the strike zone. Slowy with the pitch towards the middle. It's scooped out. There's one and two. A double play. Early pressure being put on. A run over in the first. The White Sox on top. One to nothing. And doing the pitching, it'll be Eric Bedard. He's going to start for Chicago. Steve, focus here against Minnesota. Well, sending a good lefty to the mound in this ball game here, but this is a great lineup, a lineup that can really beat up even some of the best pitchers in the game. So he's going to have to be on top of his game in order to do it and rely upon that movement on his pitches. Bedard gets set and delivers. Ugly pitch. Catcher able to somehow scoop that out. And here's a fastball for a called strike. Two and one. The two one. And he lays it down. He'll try to beat it out. Bedard. And his throw is in time. First out of the inning. Pepsi presents our starting lineups. Here's a look at the Twins. So who are you looking at, John? 
Well, kids, when you're watching this game today, just watch the at-bats by Joe Maurer. It doesn't matter if it's a lefty or righty. This swing is one of the best swings in all of baseball. It generates a lot of power, but he also, when he has that opportunity to drive and runs, he'll shorten it up just to take what the pitcher gives him to deliver for his team. Lined right at the second baseman. The young is retired. And now's a good time to take a brief look how the White Sox stack up defensively. And, uh, Steve, individual factors out there. Well, they're confident with Alex Rios out there. Just a solid all-around defender with a strong throwing arm. He's a quality defensive player. And Bernard has him 0-1. That one a called strike. Here's the pitch. And that's a strike. Mauer now will cover that plate with that big bat. They had two hits in the game last night, looking to add to that today and trying to contribute to his club's success. The pitch. Oh, oh tough one to lay off right there, that fastball. One and two. Well, he tried that four seam fastball up in the zone to get him the chase. Tough pitch to lay off of. Good job by the hitter. Fielded by Ramirez. Throws the first side is retired. And they go quietly offensively in this half inning. Nothing across. White Sox one. Minnesota nothing. And baseball under the night sky. Always a pleasure to have you with us. You're listening in on the radio. Hello to all in the stands. And Alex Cerrillos to lead off. And uh, at the plate, one of the tops and runs scored. Top five. So he gets him to swing and miss for a strike. Uh, Gary, he, he can really swing the bat. Just a quality approach at the plate. Day in and day out. That can There's a ball. Hit well. A high drive deep into center field. Goodbye home run. They'll take that one run homer. They need that. Now the lead is two. White Sox lead expanded here. Gary, they just keep getting big hits. AJ Sinker drops in for a called strike. This is a really momentum feel home run. Uh, you get it at this point of the ball game. You add some juice to the whole offense. Well, this could be a decisive moment in the game. I mean, these hits early on could ultimately impact the result at the end of the game. And so Pierzynski retired. Number 25. And Mark T into bat. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the league. Fouled off. Well, one of the offensive leaders in the game this year, and obviously a guy who's getting the job done for this offense is somebody they've really come to rely upon. Slowy with the pitch. And that's a strike. Mark Tian's going to have to take very close approach on the next one. Well, I tell you what, for a two seam fastball, he had some good yeah. movement and good pop on that one. Batter swung late. Down on strikes there. A nice piece of pitching. Uh, getting up in the range now right here with uh, decent velocity on that breaking ball and pretty good movement. And as Jim tell me in the box now. Right there in the top five and home runs. Swing and a drive. Deep left center. This one to Kubel. And that's out number three. So they pick up a run on the home run and add to their lead. White Sox by two. And so well, Michael Kadaya leads it off. First base. Number five, Michael Kadaya. Strike one. And Bernard has him 0 and 1. That one a called strike. Well, the way to keep the ball in the ballpark is by going down and away. It's the toughest pitch to drive. He executed it well. Strike, strike two, Kadaya. Watch that strike zone now. Not a pretty pitch, no damage. Oh, 
Good patience. Michael Kadaya letting it go by. Evens the count. He can't connect on that one. Michael Kadaya comes up empty on that swing. We've got a second now to see the four seam fastball he's taking. Well, this one was running down and away, but even if he didn't swing at it, it might have still caught the corner. Yeah, John, that pitch was pretty perfectly placed. Nothing you can do about it. One out, faces him. And here's the pitch. Oh. Foul ball behind home plate. He deals. 0-1 is a slider for a call strike. He has great bite on this slider, throwing it down and into the hitter. Gets away with one, and he gets in for the strike. Ground ball up the middle. Back up. And that'll set down Google. Here's a look at what's coming up for the White Sox. They wrap up the series with Minnesota tomorrow. They'll continue their road trip for the next series. The Mariners at Safeco Field. It'll be a three-game series. Then they'll continue the road trip for the next series. The Oakland Athletics will be hosting. So they'll be out and about over a good bit of that upcoming schedule. And it's J.J. Hardy now. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. And nothing across here in this half of the inning. The White Sox still ahead. Look at the manager, Ozzie Guillen. Yeah, he has to be happy with the work on the mound, especially that last inning. Insurance run so important. And so Johnny Damon leads it off. And he's in the top ten in the league and runs. Slow he gets him to swing and miss for a strike. Here's the pitch. Damon will foul that one away. Damon on a swing and a miss. That's going to be strike three. Well, K-Cam registers this at 86 miles per hour. It's a pretty good break. And it's Alexei Ramirez now. One away. Third year player. And Ramirez settles in. First pitch. There's a swing and a drive deep to left field. He has to back up for it. Comes away with the out. First baseman. Number 14. And it's Paul Canerco now. Well, leading the league in home runs. Two outs, space is empty. Slow, he gets him to swing and miss for a strike. This ball is hammered, deep right. It comes off the wall and right. So there are two men down here, but they do get a man in scoring position. Number 20. You'll take getting on base anytime, any inning. It just doesn't matter. And here with this double, maybe it's a chance to get a two-out rally started. And it's Carlos Quentin in the box now. He's number one in runs scored in the league. Took something off, and it swung on and missed. Oh, and one. Such a consistent, productive, professional hitter. You know, one of their best bats in the lineup, Gary. Hit sharply towards the hole. Oh. And he'll step on first to retire the side. Save your arm. Do it by pitching only eight times in one inning, three outs. The White Sox, two. Minnesota, nothing. They got the bottom three in the lineup. Do up. Tolbert so at the plate. Three. And frequently Second. walked. He's Number the most walked hitter in this division. Liner between first and second. And Canerco makes the catch. Look, Gary, he's pitching well right now. That's seven straight that he's retired. He is really locked in. Nobody on base, one away. Hit on the ground towards second. Back up. 
And he can't get there in time. That's going to be an infield hit. Now the pitcher did his job. He knows hit to the right side. You've got to cover first base. They just couldn't execute the play. More to pitching than just standing on the mound. Bedard gets set and delivers. There's a swing in contact. This one to Damon. Great opportunity for Minnesota. He's coming off a two-hit performance in his last outing, and even though they lost, it's a good sign that he's starting to swing it. First pitch to Span. Oh. Pauses, and now the 1-0. And he looks at a slider that's in there, 1-1. One one. He has great bite on this slider, throwing it down and into the hitter. Gets away with one, and he gets in for the strike. A smash to first, and he steps on first. That's the second out. Too late, and he is safe at second. For two outs now, those runners are still standing on base. Let's see if he can find his way out of this with the lead intact. Two out with a couple on for Delman Young. His lifetime average, 356 against the White Sox. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. They give two men in scoring position. Couple of hits. Can't get them home, though. No production net from the Twins. And Beckham's in the box. He's going to get us started here in the fourth. Number 15, Gordon Beckham. First pitch to him. Brings a little early that time, 0-1. Let's see if he can make some adjustments in the game today. He struck out twice last night and got fooled at the plate. So he's got to wait a little bit longer. Devin slowly strike two. Let's see if he goes right at him. Uh, just out in front of that sinker, and he comes up empty. And that one swung on and missed by Gordon Beckham. Hey, Cam presents the two seed. Take a look. And Alex Rios up. Top five AL and run scored. And he starts Rios out. Swings and misses. The sinker, 0 and 1. Slowy with the pitch. That's a strike, and it's 0 and 2. Time for Rios now to protect. This is how you get the routine ground ball. You pound that sinker down and away, trying to get the hitter to roll over his hands and pound it into the ground. Well, he finished that one off with a strikeout. Nice pitch. Usually a ground ball pitcher with the sinker ball in his repertoire, but today getting the strikeouts. His fifth punch out on the sinker. There is a swing and a liner. And that'll put Pierzynski on first. Now and a chance here to check out the Chicago league's White batting Sox. leaders, courtesy Thursday. of State Farm. Number now we see some tremendous hitters on this list. Guys who understand how to make good contact at the plate and get the good part of the bat on the ball on a consistent basis. That brings up Mark Tian. Just a solid offensive player day in and day out. And a guy that uh, really can deliver for this offense. Slowly gets him to swing and miss for a strike. Here's the pitch. There's a swing and a smash. And it's going to be Young. And there's the third up. No runs on a hit, and they'll strand him. Up next, it'll be the twin. Things will start getting a little more difficult. Third man in the lineup coming up. Here's a quick glimpse of Ron Gardenhire. He knows he's going to have to get more innings like that last one and have some production to tie this one up. Joe Maurer leading it off. Here's the first pitch. And Bernard has him 0 and 1. That one a called strike. Well, they've got a couple hits here, and we're into the fourth inning, so they maybe they're starting to get something going in the second time through the lineup. Maybe they'll try to figure something out, Gary. Trying to get him to chase a slider, but it's one and two. One two pitch coming. Swings and grounds this one to the right side. Foul. Here's the delivery. And Maurer fights off yet another during this at bat. 
Well, even though he got ahead in the count here, one and two very quickly, you know he's in for a battle because this guy will shorten up just to put it in play. The pitcher has to be at the top of his game. Even when he's ahead in the count, to get this guy out. Got him there. That was a nice strikeout. Well, that's paint in the black right there. He just throws it to the outside corner exactly where they wanted to get the punch out. And here's Michael Kadayu. Lifetime 289 off the White Sox. Base is empty with one away. First pitch to Kadayu. Line drive fouled oh. off towards first. Hit hard to second. Beckham, two down. Quick moment here. Look at the teams who have been doing the most yard work. Brought to you as always by State Farm. Number one, the White Sox. The Red Sox in second. In third, the Rangers. The Angels fourth. And we've got the Twins who are number five. Well, if you bought a ticket to come watch this game, let's hope you bought one in fair territory somewhere in the outfield because these two teams can really hit the long ball. No balls, one strike. Here's Bedard. Into the alleyway. He'll likely get extra bases on this. All the way to the wall. Kubel going to third. Gets in there in time. He is safe at third. Well, I was already to mark this down on the card as a double. Put a double line in there. Well, he didn't let up at all. Gary, great effort on his part. Took a chance, but he made it. Amazing thing is he was able to do it standing up. Hardy settles in first pitch. Ground ball towards second. Not in time and he scores. So Minnesota continues their offense. Number 20. Over. But when you're setting your defense, you don't set your defense for guys not to hit the ball well. This ball wasn't hit hard, but he gets down the line so quickly he's able to beat it out for that base hit. And this at bat already 0-1 first pitch was a strike. No balls, one strike. Here's Bedard. Doesn't get the call on the slider. One and one. Catcher can't control it. So they can't make the play. I'm curious to make the error right there. You just don't want to do that. It's just not good baseball. 2-1 pitch. On the ground to second. He is safe at third base ahead of that play. It's a great situation for some offense. Well, as a pitcher, there's absolutely nothing you can do about this. You hate these type of hits, but he makes a great pitch. The ball just hit in an absolute perfect spot where no one can get to it in time to beat him on the throw to first. 1-0 now. Ball strike on the outside corner to 21. Unless you stay back and really think about going the other way, you've got no chance of hitting that four-seamer down the left. Good-looking fastball. Call the ball, though, 2-1. and one. Now the 2-1. He watches the fastball go by. Now it's 2-2. Two and two. This is the go-to pitch for many pitchers in the major league. The fastball down and away. When in doubt, that's where you go. Now swing and a shot towards second. Throws on to first. Side is retired. They score a run on one hit, and they strand a couple. The Twins are making progress. They have cut into this lead. And Jim Tomei okay, to lead it off. Designated hitter, number 27, Jim Tomei. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. Good pitch as he's late on that one. 0-1. Oh Lifetime only a 125 hitter off Kevin Slowey. Here's a swing and a fly ball. They'll take that one run homer. They need that. Now the lead is two. Well, they say things are contagious. Well, good hitting can be contagious. So can power. These guys are going deep. White Sox lead expanded here. Gary, they just keep getting big hits. Slowy with the pitch. Damon swings and misses for strike one. And we, we talk about how a hit or a home run can be hit hard to second. Tolbert 
One down. Brief moment to see who's on top on our State Farm League leaderboard in hits. Alexi Ramirez. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. One of the best batting averages in the league. First pitch on the way. Swing and a miss, and he's behind that pitch. 0 and 1. And Mauer's calling for the pitch. And it's 0 and 2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. Well, right there, you can just tell that the hitter was absolutely fooled on that pitch. Nothing you can do. He tried to reach out and just put it in play, but he swung through it. Rung him up. Strike three. Count that one as K. Struck him out on three pitches. That gets it done in a hurry. Uh, efficient and in control. When you have those two things working for you, you're going to get it done. And it's Paul Canerco now. He's the league leader in ribbies. And he starts Canerco out. Smash towards the middle. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. So they pick up a run on the home run and add to their lead. White Sox by two. There's a familiar face, Isaac Gian looking up. Things have been going right for him. His ball club today, uh, last half inning, they proved productive. Now they're looking to expand that lead. And Bernard has him 0 and 1. That one a called strike. Well, the hitter lays off this pitch, realizing you can't do much when you get that kind of four seam fast up the middle. And it is in there. That's going to bring the tying run to the plate. Well, a good piece of hitting right there. And anytime you get your first hitter of the inning on base, it could set up the potential for a big inning. And it's Denard Span. Grounded out his last time through. First pitch to Span. Here's a swing, sinking liner to left. And that gets the tying run on board. Boy, what a time now to capitalize if they can. They've not allowed a lefties who necessarily want to go the other way. Great job on that at bat. Oh, exceptional. Went with where the ball was pitched. He fought it off inside and drove it. Grounded up the middle. The second for one. And two. They pull out the double play. And a great throw right there. Second base, strong arm. Arm strength critical turning the double play. It can be a matter of a split second to get the out. Great double play. And here's Joe Mauer looking to bring that runner home. Took a called third strike in his last time up. First pitch on the way. And Bernard has him 0 1. That one a called strike. The hitter thought that ball was inside. It certainly wasn't low, and it looks like it was in there. Throws to first side is retired. Only pick up a couple of hits in the inning, but do not score. The White Sox maintaining their lead. Leading it off, Carlos Quinton. 0 for 2 thus far. Number 20, Carlos Quinton. First pitch to Quinton. Not in front on that one. Strike one. Hitting 250 lifetime against Kevin Slowey. And that's a strike. Well, maybe someone ought to have him step out for just a minute. He went after one in the dirt. Hit in the air. And a foul ball. Slowey with the pitch. You're out. Big swing and a miss. Oh, Carlos Quentin goes down swinging. To get a better look, K Cam's going to show us the curve. Gordon. So he takes a cut on this one, trying to yank the chain. Comes up empty. Oh, he thought he had that one dialed in. Pitch right down the middle of the plate. What shock it was when it hit the catcher's mitt and he didn't make contact. These are the swings that make hitters want to change bats. Has him out in front as he swings and misses strike one. Well, great movement on that two-seamer right there. Had him way out on his front foot. Strike, strike two. two. Gordon Beckham now will have to keep an eye out on the strike zone. Swings, makes contact. It's going to be fielded by Young. That no, one's low. Let's take a chance now to take a look at where the White Sox sit today in the rankings of the American League. First in doubles, first in batting average, and they're also the number one team hitting with runners in scoring position. That batting average driving in runners, this lineup knows how to hit in the clutch. They're patient, 
They let the ball come to them and then they deliver. And he starts Rios out. This one's grounded hard up the middle. Throws to first in time. That's three down. And so out of the inning, only eight pitchers thrown. That's pretty efficient. White Sox three, Minnesota one. And so Michael Kadaya leads it off. Grounded out last time. Michael Kadaya. Now swing and a shot toward second. And Kadaya retired. And Kubel's in the box. Tripled in his last appearance. First pitch, here it comes. A swing and a fly ball in the left center field. Damon. And he gets over and pulls it in for the out. Number one. And it's J.J. Hardy now. Bounced into a fielder's choice his last time. It's hit foul by Hardy. No balls, one strike. Here's Bedard. Hardy again fouling it off. Bedard gets set and delivers. Good slider that time. Ruled the ball. One and two. The one two on its way. Uh, that was J.J. Uh, Hardy looking for something else. Strength three. No hits. Nobody left on. And a good defensive half inning. And it'll be the White Sox. On camera, the shot of Ron Gardner. He wants offense, and he wants his pitching to shut the door, too. Two off A.J. Krasinski. Last night, Twins lost. They are now 0-2, coming into game three of the four games set against the White Sox. You know, in spring training, the hope is there for every team. But as you go forward in the season, you see teams starting to drop by the wayside. And these guys, they seem to be one of them. And the seventh inning underway, 0-1 count. Now, this ball club, uh, they are a long way out, and they've not been able to even play 500 baseball. And they got off to a pretty good start, but, you know, over 162 games, your weaknesses get exposed, and this team had a lot of exposure. You got him. So far, eight strikeouts today. Now, what I like about this is on 0-2, he didn't mess around. He didn't try to nibble to get a chase off the plate. He goes right at him and just gets the strikeout. And in the batter's box, it's Tian. Flew out last time. He swings and drives this one. And it's going to be Young. One bounce onto the wall. And fans look out for next Tuesday. It'll be Albert Pujols and the St. Louis Cardinals as the Philadelphia Phillies come to town. That one will get underway at 8 Eastern. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really looking forward to that matchup. I mean, that's got a chance to be one heck of a ball game. Now, Jim, tell me. Boy, what a chance he's got here for the White Sox. Slowy with the pitch. Good pitch as he's late on that one. 0-1. Well, I tell you what, for two-seam fastball, he had some good movement and good pop on that one. Batter swung late. Tommy will foul that one away. Got him. Ninth strikeout of the game. I'm going to take a look at this curveball in KK. A breaking ball right there gets him to swing. You can see that back leg kind of jelly bit a little bit. Really use the off speed pitches during that at bat to get it over with. Now the first pitch. Swings and misses the slider. 0 and 1. Slowy sends the 0 1. That ball is belted deep left center. That ball is way back there. Run Homer. Now a four-run ball game. They just doubled their lead on that one. Hi. And Matt Barrera gets ready to throw. The Twins bring him in to relieve. Well, it's about time. I mean, I don't know what they weren't seeing from the dugout. They should have gotten out of this game a lot earlier. White Sox lined up the middle. Hardy dives up with it. He's out. They had a couple more runs here and extend their lead even further. 
The White Sox four run lead. Good glimpse of the manager Ozzie Guillen. He got what he needed out of his lineup that last time through. This lead now something he can try to protect if he can get some solid pitching. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. He's out at first base. Nice play on the cover. That's a well executed play right there. Gary hustled over, got the first base, touched the bag. Thought he might have had a strike out there, but he's involved in the out anyway. Boy, he made that throw a split second before he lost control of the body. Now the key was he kept his eye on the target the entire time. Big smile, he got that one done. Ball. That one's too low, Bedard missing. Look, Gary went out here in the seventh inning. I mean, you have to like the way this is going. They're looking good. The pitcher's throwing strikes. The defense making plays. They've got a big lead. Everything feels good. A line drive toward short. Over to Conerco. That's the second out of the inning. Bundo at the plate. He had a single in his last time. Two outs, bases empty. First pitch to him. And Bernard has him 0 and 1. That one a called strike. Well, it's getting late right now. Two outs here in the seventh inning, and you know they're down by a bunch of runs. They need to start to get something going right here, Gary. That one goes all the way back to the screen. It's a ball. Here's the pitch. And he looks at a slider in there, and it's one and two now. Down, down, down. It's all about location. That breaking ball down in the zone makes it very difficult on the hitter. Taps this one foul off to the left. And he looks at a fastball that's in there. Side retired. And they are retired in short order. Good defensive half inning. White Sox five, Minnesota one. And if you're just joining our 2K Sports Major League Baseball broadcast with John Crook and Steve Phillips, I'm Gary Cohen. Conerco at the plate. Here's the first pick. Right Slider one. swung on a miss. 0 and 1. Well, this is just one of those pitches right there that he had a chance to put in right play, two. but his indecisiveness caused him to hesitate. And when you hesitate, you are lost, especially in the batter's box. Fly ball. Foul. And a foul ball. Blow it away with that one. It's one and two. Swing and lined up the middle. And he can't get to it. This one finds its way around. Rolling all the way to the wall. Stops at second. Two back. But just what his team needed. He continues to swing a great bat. Three hits from now in this ball game. And he's on with no outs. Runner on second RBI opportunity for Carlos Quinton. Struck out swinging last time. Here's the pitch. Line drive. Oh. That's foul towards first. Right and with that strike, Guerrero is now in front 0 oh, and 2. But right there, you can just tell that the hitter was absolutely fooled on that pitch. Nothing you can do. He tried to reach out and just put it in play, but he swung through it. Well, he finished that one off with a strikeout. Nice pitch. And Beckham's in the box. And the first pitch. Swing sits this one pretty well. Deep right center. And it's going to be Young. Two men have been put away. And he holds the runner at second. Twin schedule. Let's have a look. One game left for the White Sox. That's tomorrow. 
Stanley. They'll kick off a series with division rivals, the Cleveland Indians, a team that will definitely give them a competitive series. That's a three-game series. Then they're off to face a team on a roll. The Orioles at Oriole Park. Swing and a line at a right center. That's going to one hop off the wall. And the throw. And Kaderko will score. Now and the White Sox, the they just White keep Sox. rolling. AJ Krasinski. Now, perfect situational hitting. This is exactly the time you want to go the other way. And what we're talking about is taking the ball where it's pitched. It's outside. Go the other way. It's gonna, here's one. Hit very well deep. That one, a one hopper off the wall. The throw. And Rios comes in. Now batting. Last game White out, Sox. he drove in three Third big game. runs in that game Number to help 25. his team win, and he Mark could be on Peter. his way to another huge game in this one. Two outs and a runner on second. First one to tee in. Here's the pitch. There's a swing and a smash. And it's going to be Young. Oh, and he can't come up with it. He'll hold there at second base, credit him with a double. And we've got Jose Maharas on the mound. He'll be relieving for the Twins now. I'm not sure what they're thinking by bringing the closer in, Gary, in a situation like this. I'd rest him if I were them. And it's Jim Tomey at the plate. Hitting 311, lifetime off the Twins. Deep to left field. This one to Kubel. That one's grabbed. Side retired. They pick up two, three hits, strand a man. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. It'll be the leadoff man trying to get things going here. And it's the Denard Span trying to get here. Just one for three thus far. Bedard gets set and delivers. There is a swing and a liner. And it's caught by Ramirez. And Delman Young in. Get another shot after hitting into that double play last time up. First delivery to Young. Line towards first. And Conerco makes the catch. Now look at the number teams leading the way in extra base hits courtesy of State Farm. The White Sox number one. The Red Sox in second. In third, the Yankees. Jays fourth. And we've got the Twins who are number five. Well, if you want to get to know the outfielders' names in this game, you're going to get a chance because these two teams hit the ball for extra bases. They're driving the ball. Swing and a rocket towards short. Throws on the first side is retired. Amazingly fast inning. Uh, outs here coming quickly. Three pitches. The White Sox still on top. Top of the lineup coming up. And so Johnny Damon leads it off. He homered earlier in the ball game. He's swinging the bat very well today and doing a little bit of everything. Driving in runs, hitting the ball out of the ballpark, having a good ball game. First pitch on the way to Damon. Swing and a drive, deep left center. This one rolls through to the wall. So with nobody out, he's awarded second after that double. We talk about a guy who's swinging it right now as good as anybody. That's his third hit of the ball game thus far. Let's see if this can mount a rally with nobody out. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. Lifetime. 325 off Minnesota. Ball. Misses for a ball to even things at one. Wide fastball right there. Just missed. Just below the knees. Tell you what, a borderline pitch. I think they wanted that one bad. That Damon hits the third. I mean, a brief moment to see who's the top the league batting-wise brought to you by State Farm. All of these guys, quality contact hitters. And, you know, when you're that kind of a hitter, it means that you can hit any kind of pitch the pitcher throws, and you're using the whole field. You're hitting it where it's pitched.
And he starts Canerco out. Oh, and one. Watches a fastball that's in there. 0 oh, and 1. Unless you stay back and really think about going the other way, you've got no chance of hitting that four seamer down in the way. Strike, Strike two. two, no balls and two strikes. Canerco now will look to tighten up that zone. Hard grounded a short. You're two away. And Damon comes in. We're coming up at the trade deadline now. Here's what the Central Division looks like, courtesy of the State Farm Standings Board. First place, the White Sox. In the second spot, the Twins. Third, the Royals. In the fourth spot, it's the Indians. And rounding out the list, the Tigers. In the tough AL Central, we all thought the White Sox would finish down on the pack, but instead, they're sitting on top and making us all look silly. The pitch. He swings on that 0-0 delivery, misses the fastball. Strike one. He has hit 240 lifetime against the Twins. Probably should not have swung at that one. It's a strike even though the ball was in the dirt. There's a swing and a line drive. And Hardy grabs that one. And the side's retired. They pick up a run on one hit. Nobody left. Twins can't be pleased with this performance. They put themselves in a deep hole. There's the skipper, Ron Gardenhire. He's reflecting right now. Not uh, likely a lot of positive reflections, however, in this game. And so Michael Kadaya leads it off. Grounded out his last time up. First pitch to Kadaya. Bernard has him 0 and 1. That one a called strike. Well, a non save situation right here in the ninth inning. And they just want to get outs right now. Try to get the first out of the inning. Take away hope as the other team needs to score oh. a bunch of runs. You get an out, you can really deflate them. Watches that fastball go by, and now he's at 1 and 2. I did not swing at that pitch. I mean, he throws your fastball right down the middle. You got to be ready when you get your pitch to deliver. Swung on, soft liner to the right side. I come able to pull that one in. I uh, just having some difficulty right now trying to make up this ground. And, and obviously, they've got a hill still to climb. And running out of time right now, only two outs remaining. So they've got to get something going to keep it going. The first pitch. And Bernard has him 0-1. That one a called strike. He has great bite on this slider, throwing it down and into the hitter. Gets away with one, and he gets in for the strike. Lays off that fastball, and it's 0-2. Here's the delivery. And that swung on and hit. Rios. And that'll put Kubel on first. And that's going to bring J.J. Hardy up. We get a break in the action. Let's take a moment to check out our State Farm leaderboard and team slugging percentage. The White Sox number one, the Red Sox second, in third the Yankees, fourth the Twins, and for the Blue Jays they are in. This one's grounded to second. He picks it up. The second, there's one. Over to first, he is safe. Almost a double play, not quite enough time. Now down to their final out right here, Gary. So, I mean, it looking pretty dire at this point. And, you know, but listen, funnier things have happened. They've got to get base runners, though. Tolbert at the plate. No hits yet, but he'll get another chance right here. Bedard gets set and delivers. Hit on the ground. This could be the end. And on to first for out number three, and that's going to do it. Fans going home unhappy in this one. Their offense just did not get it done as the opposing pitching just shut them down. Wow. Now for our Pepsi Clutch performer. No surprise. You got to pick this one. Well, you know, Gary, he made just that one mistake, but that doesn't tarnish the shine of this performance today. And I'll tell you what, a manager absolutely loves it when he doesn't have to go to the bullpen. He can give those guys a day off, and it makes them stronger for the remainder of the season. But I tell you, this guy was throwing strikes today, and it was an easy decision to keep him in the game. When you take to the road, Steve, any win will do. But when you get this kind of offense, it's very satisfying. Well, it also sends a message to your club and to that club that you showed up to play. Great day for baseball here at 2K Sports. Thank you for tuning in.